I got us a yes. Hi, everybody, we're live. I don't know if you can tell from the backdrop here, but we are at Soren, right here at Epcot at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Pete. Don't tune out yet, because it's part of my big red face. Normally, we start with a beautiful park icon, but instead, you have this glowing red globe on your screen. Uh, today is the first day of our Adventures by Carney meetup week. We're very excited to have some people in town. I know we're gonna see people throughout the week. It's fine, if you're watching on your phone, you can have that background noise. Yes, I like that the people here are already liking it as well. I'm gonna introduce you to everyone who's here, but we're starting the stream by going on Soarin' over California. We're very excited about it. If you could do me a big favor, please hit that like button. It really does help. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi and come right back. Hold on one second. Let's do that to start. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? Let me know when you're ready, Pat, and then we go. No, we could just In the meantime, uh, if you want to follow along with all of our madness this weekend, you can go in our Discord. We have a whole Carney Crew October Meetup channel. Follow along with the madness, even if you're not here. You can follow the socials at official Carney on Instagram, at your WDW guy on Twitter or X, Adventure by Carney on TikTok, and the Discord link is down below as well. Uh, also, a lot of these people here, and it could be a lot of you out there, uh, Patreons. Go check out the Patreon, patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. Colleen's here and already posting links. Thank you so much, Colleen. Uh, a few of us are just finishing up drinks, so while we do that, I'm just going to say hi to some people here in the chat. So, Robert D., what's going on? Great to see you. Uh, he said, will, will Pat Mix 75 wind up in the lagoon? Inquiring minds want to know. He already did. We have a great picture. I didn't post it yet. So I want to show him the picture first, but we have a great picture. But he is here. He is living and breathing right next to me. Uh, great to see Chief Leave. Kristen Marconi says, is it time yet? Is it time for the Boys and Men concerts? They are tonight. We're very excited. Although we're going to lose a big chunk of this crowd because they're all going to hoop you do And I'm very jealous because my favorite dinner show on property, the only reason in the history of reasons that I would not go to hoop you do is Boys to Men, my favorite group, my favorite people. Otherwise, I'd be right there. I might write for Boys to Men go there just for dessert. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Big I, fan. I, She's I the best. Home, I go home and I watch people live streaming. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's add some other people. Really quick. No, 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 don't waste that. No, 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 I'll drink it. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. Do not waste that. That is a sin. <laughs> Pat, <laughs> Pat, you have all these people who will help you drink that. Never, ever waste. Wait, was this the, oh, this the Bud Light? It's Bud Light. I love a good Bud Light. Also, we don't have to peer pressure you that much. You can just take your time. It's fine. We're talking to people. <laughs> All right, hi Katie McGinnis. Hi Stephen Noon. All right, we ready to walk and talk? Colleen Kidder's here. Thank you for posting the links. Colleen, you're amazing. Mary Jo, Lynette, Chief, Steve. Mr. Dave, what's going on? Great to see you. Lil Bit. <laughs> David Long, Seabot Co. What's going on? Lil Bit, happy birthday. Birthday was September 30th. Love it. Jason Meckis, what's going on? Allison B, what's happening? Since I gotta catch a replay because I'm working. I right, appreciate you coming back for the replay. If you're enjoying the stream today, please, if you're just coming in, please hit that like button. It really does help. It helps the algorithm. It puts a smile on my face. And look at all these amazing people. So this is our group. There's uh, that's the Marlin Traveler up there. I'll show you everyone again, but phenomenal Brandy. We got Boston Drew. We got Double Pat. We have Dawn's wife, Dawn's wife, Dawn's husband, Pat. Pat makes 75. We got Doug here. We got Dawn. We got Melon. What a group. What a group. Nine. How's it going, Georgia? Doing fantastic. Thank you. Nine. <laughs> 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 That's worked out. 
Soon you will be here. So if you or your little baby are you're flying or your flying or kites, you might want to wait for your party to arrive. Okay, let's review. Yes, T three, the Marland Traveler did an awesome stream this morning. It's great. It's like uh, network television. He did the lead up. Like uh, I don't know if he had the prime time spot or if this is the at like the eleven o'clock. Hey Eugene, what's going on? Say I'm hot. I'm watching over the UK right now. Well, we can't wait to see you. Bill said I saw the group pick. Yeah, we're going to be taking a lot of picks, posting in the Discord. Make sure you join the Discord. I'll give everyone a review of who everybody is right after this ride. Hi, Sarah. Great to see Sarah Garvey here. Orange, you lady one on this ride? Come on. Come on. I'm going to sit right here. It's probably fine. Left to right. <laughs> we have an amazing group here right now. We have the whole row. Oh, wait, let me put it on you. No, look at this amazing cast member. Hey. Hey. What's your name? Beautiful group. Very fun. If you're unaware, of what's going on. You have to go to adventuresbycarney.fun or our Discord. But uh, we do two meetups a year, usually the spring and the fall. This is our second annual fall meetup. We had... Oh, no. I just remembered... Where did I leave my umbrella? Maybe the bathroom? No. I didn't bring it from the DVC lounge. It's got to be imagination. Honestly, as long as it's in DVC lounge, I'm okay with that. It seems like a safe space. Yeah, that does seem like a good spot. Okay. Well, we forgot the umbrella. It was raining all day. But the rain has stopped now, and I knew I was going to forget it. And luckily, I know Lauren's not watching, but it's her very nice umbrella. So, but she's catching up on trash TV. No. <laughs> it's all the stuff that I refuse to watch. Golden Bachelor, uh, Below Deck. What are the other shows that... Uh, Love Island. <laughs> definitely Love Island, yeah. But anyway, yeah, starting today, I, well, technically last night was the unofficial kickoff, but I wasn't even there. I was very jealous, but they got to go on a monorail bar crawl and go to, they went to Citrico's, they went to the Villains Lounge up at uh, Bay Lake Tower, we top of the world. But today's the we official kickoff of our ABC Fall Meetup. By the way, these arrows right here, if you fall below them, there's a middle strap you have to use. Otherwise, if you're told that, you just use a standard seatbelt. Just notice that it's here. What else were Talking about. Oh, so yes, first day. Uh, we'll be at Epcot all night tonight. Tomorrow, we are headed to. What's tomorrow? Monday? Oh, mix it up Mondays. Make sure you're subscribed. You get the bell on. We'll be live at noon. Brandy, maybe a few others. We might have a few other special guests. We'll find out tonight. We'll be live with me at my home in our studio uh, for our Mix It Up Mondays, our new weekly show every single Monday at noon, so you don't want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe to get the bell on, hit all notifications. Then tomorrow night, the mini golf tournament, year number two. It's going to be intense. If you're in town, whether you're a local or on vacation, come join us. It's over at Universal Orlando. Since last year we did the Disney course, this year we're doing the Universal course. You don't need a ticket to get in to go play mini golf Universal. You just can go in. You don't need a ticket. And then we're doing a little bar crawl at night around City Walk, which you also don't need a ticket for. Uh, and then we're also going to do the Catch a Rising Star Karaoke, where they have a backup band and singers. It's going to be a lot of fun. A mega crazy night. Tuesday, we're in the parks. Wednesday, we're in the parks. Uh, and then Wednesday night, HHN. Anyway, let's go on this ride. So we're in the tower. We are ready for takeoff.
Yay! All your parts and pieces. I don't know if anyone watched the Toy Story football game this morning, but it was fantastic. They had some technical difficulties here and there, but I watched bits and pieces of it. I missed the Duke Kaboom halftime show. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can go to Disney Plus. They have it, but they did a Pixar Toy Story remake of the 9 a.m. game from London, and it was amazing. The Disney Pixar remake. I was I was between that on one screen and my other screen was Daniel's stream. Uh, if you want to go see his live stream, the Tomorrowland Traveler, you can catch his YouTube. Just Google the Tomorrowland Traveler or go to the TomorrowlandTraveler.com. He's also a travel agent uh, and he's also really good at pretending like I'm not talking about him, even though he's right in front of me. Yeah, he's awesome. Go follow his YouTube. Book your trips through him. He the best. Also tomorrow on. Mix It Up Mondays. Phenomenal Brandy will be there. We're doing a very in-depth Universal HHN preview. Talk. We talk a lot of Disney, but we don't give enough love to Universal. So tomorrow, HHN Talk, a lot of other fun things. And I love, uh, Brandy has, well, we're going to have a lot of fun. There's a lot going to be a lot of opinions, <laughs> but, but she's very knowledgeable, so it's going to be great. I want a DJ lesson. Like, DJ oh, we'll do a DJ lesson? lesson? Oh, maybe we'll set that up the DJ. I mean, I was going to leave the bar open, but we'll see what happens. If you don't know what we're talking about, the last two weeks, this is week three of Mix It Up Mondays. The premier YouTube talk show from <laughs> the, 12 to 2 o'clock on Monday. That's right. Afternoon. If you want to see what gets 25% of my average views, <laughs> yeah. go ahead and check it out. Oh, there you go. You're right. You're right. Basically, Clarkson. <laughs> I like to call myself Kelly Carney. That has a different ring. Kelly Carney just sounds extremely Irish. It's a double Irish last name. That'd be Kelly O'Carney. Oh, Kelly O'Carney. <laughs> oh, y'all mind if I go get an Oswald milkshake real quick? No, here? Yeah, Go ahead. Right in there. Go nuts. I know we're going to lose a big chunk because they're going to hoop de do. Anyway, for those who don't know, I'll just give a quick introduction. This is phenomenal brandy right here in orange. We have Daniel, the Tomorrowland Traveler, right there in the awesome ABC tank. Dawn, part of the Northeast crew, but yeah, everyone loves Dawn H in the chat. Chief is here. Pat makes 75, alive and well, doing fantastic. We got Doug here ripping. By the way, love his outfit. He's got the purple shoes, purple shirt, the purple face with the yellow band. I love it. The coordination, unbelievable. Then we call him Boston Pat because it's Pat makes 75, but we got Boston Pat, Dawn's other half. Uh, we love Pat. And, of course, we're in the ugliest shirt at Epcot. We have Boston Drew. <laughs> and the reigning mini golf champion. So we'll give him some love, too. But that all could change tomorrow. And then uh, Melon and the Mouse, uh, Melissa just took off to go grab a quick little uh, beverage over at Seasons. Since we are here at the land, she's grabbing the Oswald Shake, and we're hanging out. Living with the land, exit right there. We just exited Soren. What a great ride. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. It really does help. We are just getting started. We started in the line for Soren. Seasons looks just as quiet as always. Living with the land, a five-minute wait. We might have to go do that, uh, but we'll say goodbye to everybody first. I know a big... Big piece of the group's hoop de doo and I, they invited me, and I would love to go. But I mean, like I said, the only group that I would say no to hoop de doo for is Boys to Men, and Boys to Men are performing live tonight three times here at Epcot for the Eat to the Beat concert series. You see, the park has gone completely Disney 100. You'll see these little medallions and logos all throughout the park. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. It really does help. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. We've uh, been on a tear. So thank you and uh, I guess welcome into the madness, all the new subscribers and the fun. We, uh, we consider ourselves a family-friendly stream for the most part, but we are, I am a Disney adult. Love to have a good time. I love to take my nieces and nephews to the parks. Uh, but we do keep these streams as family-friendly as we can. But yeah, we have some drinks. We have a lot of fun. We do a lot of Disney fun facts, hidden Mickeys. 
I'm, uh, I would say pretty, uh, we'll say semi-knowledgeable about a lot of fun facts. Like, did you know these four balloons of the four seasons with the earth right above? Uh, we know a lot of dates. We are here today because, we haven't even said this, happy, I should have put this in the thumbnail. Today is Epcot's anniversary. They turned 41 today. Epcot opened October 1st, 1982. This would not be here 41 years ago. Pretty amazing. So happy birthday, happy anniversary to Epcot. I can't believe I didn't even put that in the thumbnail. I should have. I was so excited about seeing all these amazing people and more throughout the week. And boys to men that I forgot to put in the thumbnail. What am I doing? What am I doing? I just realized that I forgot to even say that today is Epcot's anniversary and birthday. And in the thumbnail, I was just so excited to see everybody. I put a picture of all of us and boys to men and didn't even mention that it's, today is the day. This is why we chose this park. You tell me you got some good shorts coming out? Oh, we're going to have some great shorts. We did record it up. We, uh, we met up uh, around 2.30, but we've recorded some amazing shorts already. Us meeting Figment, uh, the DVC Lounge Hangout. We've had a lot of content coming your way, so you want to make sure you're subscribed. You get that bell on, all notifications. Daniel's going to go do it right now on his phone. You can see I'm very excited about it. <laughs> no, nah, you're subscribing on all your channels. Let's, come on. Hey, we have to disperse on you. He has guardians. They're going to hoop de doo I'm lame. I have to take a phone call in like 10 minutes. Okay. I'm I was going to walk around for a little bit, though. If I'm still in, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I hope you come back. I was, I was going to say, I know we're losing a big chunk to a lot of other things. Melon is hanging, though. Okay. Daniel's still hanging. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, living on the land, living I'm with the land. back after he gets done with cool. supporting That's group. perfect, because living with the land is five minutes, so I might just go do living with the land for a walk-on. Why not? Well, you, you under living with the land? Why not? Me, you, Melon, and we're losing everybody. Are you going to? You're going to uh, hoop? Okay, if I don't find you again, I'm oh, going to be at your house at 1145, That's perfect. Either one. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to tell my brain 1130, so it'll be 1145. That's fine. Whatever time you want. Okay. Um, but hopefully we see you later. Have fun at Hoopty Doo. I'm very jealous. Yeah, yeah check it after. Yeah, or I'll come to you, one or the other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Either we'll meet up here or I'll come to you. There they go. Mix it up Monday tomorrow, folks. 12 to 2, second stream. Third. No, second, we're doing two streams tomorrow. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow's two streamer day. We've got the second annual Tournament of Champions. That's right. Off Monday. That's right. But everyone's invited. You don't have to be a previous champion. We're all and everyone's invited. No, it's champions. We're champions. All champion in all right. our own mind. I just wanted to check in with them. Is Pat going or no? Yeah, Pat's going, I think. Pat, are you doing Guardians or are you doing... Oh, Guardians, then who? And you're doing Guardians, mm -hmm. but are you staying here after that or no? Then she's going to hoop. Wait, you're going to the 615 hoop too? I'm, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe All right. No, I don't oh, know. I was just asking. I was just curious who was going. I'm st I'll catch I'll hook All right. Sounds good. I was just curious who was going. I, wanted, I was going to say goodbye. So I just wasn't sure who was going where. It's not goodbye. It's see you real soon. Or Quaharini. One or the other. <laughs> <laughs> it's a see you real soon or Quaharini. See you real soon. And you are doing Guardians. Yeah. And then maybe who? Oh. Did you take a photo? She got the Oswald Shake at Seasons. So what's in the Oswald Shake? Just Oswald? Okay. Nice. Yes. Yeah, take pictures while it's cute. <laughs> I wish it would have done with me when I was a kid. Take pictures while he's cute. <laughs> yeah. All right. We are losing a big chunk, but we are going to head on Living With The Land to give you a live stream. Again, I'm, I want to thank everyone who's here meeting up and hanging out all week long. And I was invited to uh, hoop, but we got, to do, we got to do live streams. We got things to do. And it's Epcot's anniversary. And not everybody can go to hoop, so we're going to hang out and go on living with the land and do a lot of other fun things here at Epcot, including seeing boys to men tonight.
All right, we'll see you later, we'll hopefully. circle back around in a little bit. Hopefully, we'll see all of you later. Hey, and if not, you see me twice tomorrow. I know. Tomorrow, we see Brandy twice. Double stream day tomorrow. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys later. But if not, we'll we'll text. Or we'll be in the Discord. You can go join our Discord, too. Bye, chat. Bye, Chris. I'm coming to see you right after Guardians. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, cool. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we'll, By the time y'all are done with Liverpool. All right, sweet. Yeah, I'm pretty easy to find. All right, sounds good. Have fun on Guardians. Brandy, hopefully, we'll see you later. If not, twice tomorrow. Everyone else, we love you. See you later. We don't do Guardians because there's no service and uh, it would be terrible for the stream. So I sacrifice going on Guardians because I love you guys. But if you want to see a Guardians uh, ride along, we have one here on the channel. I think we have two. But right now it's all about the real attraction everybody loves here. Forget Guardians of the Galaxy. It's about living with the land. Living with the land. This wait seems entirely too long. We should have. What are we doing? Two. We went from 11 to 9 to 2 real quick. Which row were we in? I was going to hop. Can we do the first one? Is this okay if we go here? I just don't want to uh, talk behind someone's head. Or we can get on this one. You want to go? Want to go? We can, wait. we can go. All right. I don't talk on this right anyway. All right, let's go. We'll wait. I'm okay with waiting one ride. I mean, there's no wait. We literally walked on. Yeah, we normally have a 20 minute wait rule, but uh, considering we walked on. So when I live stream, uh, Daniel did this today when you were on Pirates, the back row, uh, so you're not blocking room with your camera. I like to be in the first or the last row. So the, I like being the first row of the second boat. You can see a lot of the ride. But if I'm in the second row and I want to make any comments or say hi to somebody or point something out, I feel like I'm talking right into somebody's ear because I do have to speak up a little bit for all of you to hear it. So if I can give at least a four and a half foot gap between boats, it's a little bit better than just whispering in someone's ear, hey, there's a hidden Mickey. <laughs> Look at those cucumbers. So, did you have a good stream today or what? That is awesome. 11 rides. By the way, again, if you're not following the Tomorrowland Traveler, there he is. Daniel right there and to be honest it's almost like a complete comprehensive channel if you follow both of us because he was live all morning I'm live now during the week if I'm not live he's live weekends he's mostly live I'm almost never go live on the weekends you want to go follow this man all right let me bring you living with the land I'm gonna be quiet especially in the opening scenes because this is about relaxation enjoy yourself sit down take a deep breath pour yourself a glass of wine if you want but enjoy living with the land Discovery and embrace of the riches and diversity of the often surprising nature of living with the land. Oh, you're the live stream side. Our trip begins. Everything happens on the right. No, you just held it all day. Can I jump over it?
one of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its private animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. One of the, uh, I think, last seven or eight restaurants left. Yeah, I'd like to If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. It really does help. Thanks for being here with us. We're on Living with the Land here at Epcot. Nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Garden grill. It rotates around. You could watch Living with the Land from upstairs. It's a character dining experience. Use food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize that we're tired. Sunday. They're up. Uh, Today, also, Jill, I listen to this music loop the all the time. Discovering better ways to grow food <laughs> and ensure both human and environmental well being. This is instant serenity for me. Yep. they have uh, three or four years ago they they changed the film and brought in uh, HD images like this <laughs> you order when you get on that's where they pick it up but none of the names are right so they're like Danielle caramel mochiato they're like it's Daniel Chief says, so excited to see Living the Land and Soren twice because we had Tomorrowland Traveler's Dream and mine, yeah. He says, it really is a holy day. <laughs> yeah. That's how I ended up the way I am. One of the cheapest tours is the Live With The Land tour. Go check it out. When I went on it, it was $39 for a 
that behind the scenes tour, which was amazing. I don't know what it costs now, but. You gotta be scuba certified. Well, I'm not. You gotta bring an underwater camera? So you have to record it. No, it's yeah, it's similar. Lauren and I's first date was shark diving. First or second, depending on what you want to call it. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet swamp But it was a shark diving experience in at an aquarium on Long Island. Even the flower petals are edible. But they were like, oh, you came on a good day today. We haven't fed them in three days. <laughs> this tour is great. I'll come do it with you. I want to see the updated tour. I did it. It's got to be five years ago, six years ago. Maybe seven. Oh. That's too expensive. This one's cheaper. It's my favorite tour. That and Keys of the Kingdom were favorite too. The Wild Africa Trek Tour Animal Kingdom, what we're talking about, is one of my top two tours. I've done a, I've done a, almost all of them. Uh, I've done the Elephant Tour. I've done a lot of tours behind the scenes, but uh, Keys of the Kingdom is probably the best. I would say if you've never done one and you love Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney, it's amazing. And if you're out at Disneyland, walking in Walt's footsteps, 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 footsteps. footsteps. <laughs> I'm reading tilapia, <laughs> footsteps, uh, walking in Walt's footsteps at Disneyland is amazing. But here, Wild Africa Trek at Animal Kingdom is one of the coolest tours you could ever go on. He's like, I know you ate my cousin. It's tilapia, you can see him down there. So tilapia is almost almost all farm raised. Or in uh, here's some freshwater shrimp. You can see the size of them. So they actually have to trade for these. We learned on our tour, but now they have a ton. But look at the size of those shrimp, giant fronds. But they were only down to one, and they had to trade other species to get more. And now there are a ton of shrimp here. No, there is because they only had one giant freshwater shrimp, and a lot of the association of zoos and aquariums trade animals just like animal kingdom and everything else and most time it's to help the reason disney does it is to help produce the population so if you have a male or a female in heat and you have someone in another place that needs something food is hand Put it close, go ahead. Oh, you have your set on like, FPV. Yeah. I like, uh, it's all in the wrist. <laughs> I don't like uh, big jumps. I do everything gradually. The well, Carolina Reaper is the hottest pepper in the world. Are the, they they had to move those. They were in a spot when I did the tour. Nine pound lemons just planted. You can tell there's none on the tree. But they also tell you during the Food and Wine Festival where they use this food. So this sugar cane actually used in the frozen caprinia at the Brazil booth. Oh yes, it, it will sometimes take the shape of the pumpkins and you can see what they're doing here. It's going to look awesome in a few weeks. We can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Also a lot of the time there's hidden shapes uh, here in the nutrient film technique area with the lettuce. So you see the hidden Mickey in the green in the back. It's a 100 for Disney's 100. I get eat a little snacky poo. I mean, not a big meal, but a little snack. I mean, or just food and wine it, whatever. 
Here's some bitter melon. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature. <laughs> it looks pretty bitter. <laughs> this is all the goodness that I'd say you should do on your stream, and I'm glad you're doing it on mine. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. They had that tomato tree. Yeah. Also, on this tour, they give you fresh cucumbers that they grow right here. <laughs> it's right here, the cucumbers. But yeah, when you're on the tour, you get to have a fresh cucumber. But yeah, I don't know if you just heard that announcement, but they use uh, all the food grown here is used in restaurants right here at Epcot and Walt Disney World Resorts. future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. Yeah, that's the whole point of a greenhouse. In our lab, it's a great thing fast. Come on, man. you realize why greenhouses have been around for a very long time? Yes, it is. This is just, no, have you ever been to a greenhouse? It's the same thing. They just basically, this foggy film over the top and it magnifies the sun's rays for the plants to grow faster and it's warmer collides more humidity natural moisture natural light i mean i grew by a farm even though i was on long island listen i'm teasing you but i like your i like your discovery i like your discovery i'm just teasing you do you sing willy wonka when you enter this tunnel in your live streams so when I enter this tunnel, I like this thing where they walk up. So we're gonna do it. No one knows where we are going, but this boat just keeps on rowing. I don't know where we are going. No. Chief says, T cubed is so sweet. He is. He's the sweetest. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of food. <laughs> Robert, he says, I heard that. Reliable. That was hilarious, yeah. You got to see Daniel behind the scenes. I'm going to do a whole mini mix for the uh, Patreon. Even after the stream, I'll just leave, I'll let my phone record the entire night hanging out with Daniel. On behalf of Walt Disney World, one hundred percent. We hope you enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratory. A thousand percent. No. Um, you know what I'm working on for Mix It Up Mondays is bringing people like this girl on the stream, who's now, I believe, sixty-eight years old. Uh, let's think. Today is the forty-first anniversary of Epcot. Today, Epcot opened October first, nineteen eighty-two. So if she took that photo, let's say she's what? How old is that kid? Seven? Seven, eight. And they probably took it a year ahead of that. So we'll say eight to nine. Add 42. 50, or 50 years old? You know, when I pass by this, I don't think about that. I think, wow, that's a cool song. <laughs> oh, the song is great. I love the background loop. like one of the last honestly though Epcot. oh it is so true Epcot I just I never want them to change this only because like I'm sure the one two three four five if that was a member of my family like they're immortalized forever somebody they're immortalized forever that's what I'm saying oh 100% I've seen that on live streams but like I wish like that's somebody's family like and I'm unless they're 100 years old at this point I would love to, but also like I don't want to like disrespect anyone who's in the ride. Of course, the one day I do that, it's like that person's great grandchild comes on. Well, I hope you enjoy living with the land, and also we just get soaring to kick off the stream. If you're enjoying the stream so far. Please hit that like button. It really helps. We're at 78. We're trying to hit 100 before the one-hour mark. 
We have 16 minutes. Please hit that like button. It really does help. Thanks for being here with us. Happy Sunday, fun day, and happy birthday and anniversary, Epcot. They opened 41 years ago today. The opening ceremony is for the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Please gather all your personal Here we go. Lower your head and watch a step as you exit. Honestly, don't know. I've seen another streamer do that ride for 12 hours. I can do it. I don't know how you can do it getting up out of that boat like that. If you did it once an hour. Oh, you gotta do abs. Ab day. It's a core. Core day. My knees give out after the third trip. Yeah, but you're 48 years older than me. You give me two years? like more than Honestly, people would want to know how old uh, Daniel is. He's actually very young. He's only 117. He's like a turtle. Yeah, I'm like that. And shiny. <laughs> shiny. Oh, the four seasons of the earth? Yeah. You can see winter, summer, fall, and autumn. I mean, <laughs> winter, spring, summer, and fall. Food rocks I never got to see. I, never, I remember but vaguely. But yeah. uh, this is the Garden Grove restaurant, by the way. A character dining experience that also slowly rotates, and you get to see living with the land. One of the only, I mean, there's less than 10. I don't know the exact count. Restaurants I have not dined in yet, but that's one of them. I have done V&A's, but it was, uh, no, but it was back in 2014. Me and, me and the fam did uh, the sushi restaurant here. That was good, man. Shiki Sai? 20 minutes. It was really good. I enjoyed it. We did Shiki Sai for my birthday, but I, didn't, I haven't done the expensive one downstairs. My friend who's a sushi chef, and he owns a hot pot. He's this like, is the one I want to go to. I showed him the, the menu. He goes, they don't have white tuna on that menu. Nope. <laughs> I was like, no. He goes, that's a nice establishment, dude. <laughs> like, wow. They didn't because he's like, hey. he said, if you go in there asking for white, because it was more traditionally Japanese. Yeah. Sushi is very American. Of course. But no, I that's actually have, by Japanese, like, people. In, no, they definitely don't. There's nothing with like, they're not like, hey, you want a cream cheese bagel between rice? Like, there's another thing in Japan. By the way, the rain hopefully is done for the day. This is what I said. I scheduled it for 5 p.m. because the rain was supposed to stop at 4 30. Brilliant. Look at you. The only thing is that, I mean, you use a phone, right? I'm just afraid for the phone. I had to put this thing in rice twice this week. Oh, well, I don't have your fancy phone. You're also a Galaxy guy, right? That's right. Yeah. Android Mmm. Listen. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I still do not understand Apple products, but it, it's a phone, and I like that everyone's in a blue bubble. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how to operate anything. Well, you never watch movies, so you probably never saw DVR. I don't even know what that is. Is that a boy band? What is that? BTR? Is that the group before BTS? Yeah, VCR. Oh, VCR. No, I know VCRs. Get out of here. <laughs> Where? Well, no, I'm, I'm in that area. I, believe me, I had VCRs growing up my whole life. We switched very late. I actually had a TV with antennas because my dad was old school. That was so cute. My dad was... Here's, here's how old my dad was. I was uh, my dad's first child. My dad was born in 1944. So he wasn't a spring chicken uh, for us. Actually, it, I'm kind of more proud of my younger brothers because Brian definitely remembers VCRs. I'll do one of those. He just have just one. I would have went back for it. No, tell me about it. They just started all this big old I ran it right here in front of us, and I was like, that ain't Mickey Mouse. Really? I mean, 
mean not as big as Could have been Oswald. Man. I don't know. It was, <laughs> not big like New York City subway. It's interesting how this is still cool. Uh, that tells me the water level is different. No, you know they're not connected, right? <laughs> so fun fact about Disney bridges Even if you go to Japan there's, They're not all continuous There's a wall <laughs> And that is full No, all of these are basically independent So if you go to Japan too And you go into the pavilion from the back You'll pass the two uh, statues uh, With the warriors on horseback It looks like this beautiful big moat That goes all the way around Japan It is a pool of sitting water that has a few bubbles to make it look like it's flowing around the castle. So we did pick up for last Sunday, right? Ooh, did you get a good one? We did, but I saw this family watching. I saw the kids just in broad with it, so I turned around. I wanted to go away. I said, did you guys want to do this? And they were like, yeah, and I was like, I got it. So I got oh, of down. course, you're the best. And the, the little girl had the biggest pearl of the day, eight and a half. Wow. <laughs> and they celebrated because she said, that is the biggest pearl. And it was a big pearl. Were you like, hey, you could do it, but I keep the pearl. Uh... <laughs> and they were from Norway. It was their first visit. They were here for 12 days. Because we had to wait about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. So I got to know them and talk to them. It was just That's normal. nice. Yeah, that's awesome. And then they were like, I didn't even. And then they were like, as we were leaving, I never brought up the YouTube channel or anything, but I guess they saw my shirt. And they're like, we want to subscribe. It was, it was a fun day. Oh. Speaking of Just Keep Swimming, who um, I love movie? all these. He watched The Meg 1 last night. What's that? The Meg 1. You, it's a movie with Jason Statham. He's a movie star. But he's swimming away from the shark. <laughs> he's a movie star. <laughs> he's swimming away from the shark, and he starts singing Just Keep Swimming. Just, Just Keep Swimming. swimming. And it's the transporter singing like that. Oh, nice. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen this yet, there's a new mural here on the way to the old Starbucks uh, by the restaurants where you meet the World Showcase by Canada, where they have over 100 Disney characters hidden within this mural for the Disney 100. It's a lot of fun. It's super neat. We did a little bit of an in-depth one here. Uh, I don't know. I want to say two or three Epcot streams ago. We'll come back and do it again, but it's really cool. It's super fun. Go with the flow. Speaking of going with the flow, I do have to go to the opera. Do you mind or do you have to go? I mean, I'll hold your camera. <laughs> hey. I mean, I, can, I don't I appreciate that. I don't have to use the restroom. Yeah, no, no, no take backsies. All right, I'll be right back. Right. Pete has his gimbal set up. Ooh, bubbles and brine. Jumbo shrimp cocktail. Jonah claw, crab claw cocktail. And a beverage. They got beverages with alcohol. Hey, Chief, how are you today? I feel like we just hung out a little while ago. That was a pretty good stream on uh, Guardians earlier. I was kind of proud of it. That's the first time I've ever been able to get a stream or a camera or a phone to work on that ride at all. <laughs> Refresh. All right, give me one second. I'll wait. Let me let Pete. This is his phone. I don't want to stop anything. But I want one of those popcorn buckets. But uh, I'll wait till he gets back because he has an iPhone and I have an Android and I do not want to turn the stream off. So give me two seconds and I'll get him to refresh. Man, I want that little popcorn bucket. Is it here at Epcot or is it at uh, Magic Kingdom? I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. I know, but I got a 
And look at them. Huh? You want me to go? I'll cut you. Oh man, so Bubbles and Brian didn't really have anything that I thought I might like. I might have to, um, I'm hungry though. I'm going to have to find something to eat tonight. That's a Disney 100 booth. I didn't know. I have to look into those. I guess they have uh, certain booths have certain. Because I haven't seen that at every one of them. So that's interesting. So do all the booths this year have the Disney 100 or is it certain ones? So this is the one of the new ones that just opened up last week. Uh, so this, we just did this on the stream uh, last week. There's the new Disney 100 booths that just opened up. So this was actually uh, the B one uh, in the past and something else. But they changed over to Bubbles and Brine with the Disney 100. Yeah. Well, no, Pop Eats is, um, I think that's uh, Festival of the Arts. So can I tell you how much I've been live streaming lately? We're really trying to, I know, no, say that. No, honestly, that was a setup. And I was honestly in my head, I was like, I hope he does it. Um, by the way, Swirl Showcase did open. This wasn't open the other day uh, when they were supposed to debut. Three out of the four new booths debuted. Swirl Showcase did not. I'll show you the menu real quick, but then I'll tell you why I've been live streaming a lot in a second. That's the setup I wanted, though. They got a frozen apple pie beverage, a cinnamon apple cider beverage. Soft serve, vanilla, apple cinnamon, salted caramel, awesome fall flavors. Then they have the Three Daughters co Toasted Coconut Porter, the Toasted Coconut Porter Float. They have two other floats, a cream soda float, a Fanta grape float, and then the Mickey-shaped liquid nitro cake. I uh, know, I'm good. I don't do desserts, but I'll be in line with you. No, it's, dude, we're, this is the whole point. Is, is You're helping my stream out. Because normally I would never purchase any of that. So you mean if I go trick or treating with you, I get to keep all the candy? All the candy. We have so much candy from one Halloween. Oh, we got a lot. We have like 40 pounds of candy. Lauren got really mad at me because uh, I didn't realize that one of the candy. I'll tell you the right. Yeah. If you're in the stream, please hit the like button. It really helps. Consider subscribing. We're having an amazing week tomorrow. Two live streams. Tuesday, we'll probably go live again. Wednesday, we'll probably go live again. It's going to be an amazing week. Thanks for being here, guys. You, sh you shouldn't be. Disney's really giving the best. They're putting out some serious hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah, no, it's like purple magic. It's like motor oil. What is that? Sean, we'll drink together one night. We'll, we'll talk about this. The apple brandy has wine and wedge is amazing. Apple brandy? Oh, yeah. We're going there next. So that's the uh, liquid nitrogen. It instantly freezes. Uh, it's how, if you ever watch Food Network, but how they make those ice creams in seconds is that is way below zero, but safe once it cools so you can eat it. But liquid nitrogen comes out just like that. Look at that. It's amazing. 
Does that mean there's no calories in it? They it burns the calories <laughs> off. Yeah, it burns all the calories <laughs> off. It's a Disney fact. Well, if you don't use a plate, plates hold calories. Well, so if you don't use a plate, calories just don't count. In Disney. <laughs> that's right, that's and that is that's a fact from a cast member. Calories at Disney's do not count. Yeah, none of you are local. Me and you, we eat here way too often. Uh, it looks fantastic. Thanks, Francesca. See you later. Bye, guys. Thanks, Madison. Great to see you. Have a great day. Thanks, CMs. We love you. I'm really glad that Disney has started food. I don't... I haven't been to too many places, but, you know, if you're drinking, so... Yeah, I got that. I, I, I can't do it. I mean, I technically could, but I choose not to. But this one almost looks like it would have alcohol. It does. Look, it shouldn't, though, man. No. I'm saying it does look like it should, but it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> I let you order it. I'm like, you can't have it. I'll take it. Mocktails are making a huge comeback. Even my friends in the beverage scene. So I used to sell beer in all five boroughs of uh, New York. Mocktails are making a huge thing. And even my buddy who's a, a very higher up in the Charlotte beer scene, uh, works for one of the biggest beer houses in Charlotte, is how big mocktails are making their way up. As a mixologist, I like that. First thing you get, you get a lot of graham cracker. Yeah, so you're you're huffing graham cracker. By the way, this won't ruin your drink, but I'll talk to you why I've been streaming. So we've been just streaming a lot. So thank you to all the new subscribers, and I hope everyone's been enjoying the channel. What's up? Uh... I'm in the bathroom. I forgot I handed you the camera. Literally, there was a noise that was made in the men's room. You could assume whatever you want. It could have been somebody walking or anything you want. But there was a noise made. And I literally out, like, out loud go, so sorry about that, everybody. Thinking I was still holding the camera. But I'm like, oh, no, the camera is outside. What am I doing? I just apologize to the world for this man. All right, so it's good? Yeah, I got all the, there's a lot of salt. Can I try a baby sip? Yeah, it's, I drank a lot of liquid, but there's a lot of solid in there. It does taste like an apple pie. It's very sweet, though. Only one of these. I think, let me tell you. It's when very I sweet. I left out of there after I had a dessert. I had the beef sweets. My sugar got Yeah. Oh, forget about and it. I, had, like, I was standing in line at Buzz with the coaster. Slinky Dog Dash. Yeah. I tell everybody, listen, I actually think Woody's Roundup is a really fun spot for the whole family. But the problem is it's so much food because it's all you can eat when you pay. You want to try everything. You are in a food coma afterwards. So I say if you're going to do Woody's Roundup at Disney's Hollywood Studios, is either plan to go back to the room and nap afterwards or do it at night when you're done. But build in some break time because there's no way. I mean, not that there's no way, but it is going to be rough to do Woody's Roundup Barbecue and get a full experience and then function like a normal person the rest or at least the next hour. It's going to be rough. All right, where are we headed first? Next, last. What time is it? I don't have a, my watch doesn't work. I forgot to change the battery. 1806, 606. Oh, uh, let's go the opposite way though. Let's go. Because I would love to see the Boys to Men second show. I noticed there is one less men. So, uh, there was. There was a uh, Boys to Men originally had four members. Uh, the fourth guy, there's a lot of stories out there. I actually know the true story from Sean Stockman, who's uh, one of the co founders and singers in the band. He actually reposted us on Instagram and my live stream the other day. Yes. Sean's the man. Yeah. Sean's the man, and uh, I and honestly though, but even the fist bump meant a lot to me because again, you have to realize Boy Smith's been doing this for thirty years. 
and they were a huge part of my childhood, my my high school years, my formative years, my 20s, uh, and into my 30s. I mean, and again, I'm not in my 40s, <laughs> but we could, we could default to this man if any questions for people in their 40s. But I'll say that I am in my 30s, my third decade of life, but... They were a huge part, especially, and I'm, I'm very proud of this, and I say it on streams all the time. I make a lot of jokes about it, but I grew up in a neighborhood and school district that was predominantly uh, not white, and I'm just a white dude, but uh, there was about 10 to 15% of us where I grew up, but I'm very proud of that because I'm very lucky where it may have, uh, <laughs> when going through it may have had some challenges at the time. I love... Uh, the diversity and everything it taught me and growing up like that was amazing. But there was a lot of boys men. I mean, talk about school dances. Oh, man. Sixth, seventh, eighth grade. All boys to men. So the fact that I get to see them, they're doing four shows. I'm not sorry. They're doing 12 shows. but They're doing four nights at Epcot, three shows a night. Um, I mean, even Lauren, we first started dating, bought tickets before she knew my Disney Epcot obsession. But she bought me tickets to see them at Radio City Music Hall right up front. I'm like, I know how much these cost. It was hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to tell her that we could have gone to Epcot. <laughs> and for not as much. But we've seen them all over. I've seen them all over the country. But they put on an amazing show. They still sound absolutely amazing CD quality. And I'm saying that because if you don't know what a CD is, that's how I got their, their songs in the beginning. Yeah, you used to have to put that in your car or a player. Yeah, and then if God forbid it scratched, you would just miss a huge piece of the record. But and you had that one friend that just knew exactly what to do to get it fixed, but he would only fix it for like three days and then it would start scratching. Yeah, he's like, you know what you need? A little bit of a this, a little bit of that, but I am a gigantic Boys to Men fan, so... Going back to the original conversation, the fact that I get a little bit of love with the boys. I mean, every year they come here, we take some pictures, we say hi. You know, they let, me, they let us be right up front. We were front row basically for the end of the concert the other night, but we were third or fourth. I don't know. We were right up there. It's been very nice. And uh, I think they're one of the most iconic groups of all time. You think about how many number one hits they have and how many millions of plays. So, as you can tell, huge Boys to Men fan. And it was very cool that one of the... We'll go way back. Let's let's work our way back from tangents. One, very cool that Sean reposted our live stream on Friday. Yeah. Considering he's got millions of followers. Yeah, it was very cool. And then also, super cool just to be here seeing them. And then we're working our way back to the original question. Were there originally four? Yes, there were. Uh, and there's a lot of stories about what happened. I know the actual story from Sean. Not in person like he told me, but like I know what actually happened. <laughs> I got you. But the fourth member just wasn't into the, let's say, celebrity, the, into that lifestyle. He uh, was a great singer. At first it was fun and kind of grew out of it. Some people, they're like, hey. I'm he is an accountant right now. That's what he wanted to do. But it wasn't like one day he just like, I want to be an accountant and stopped. He stopped showing up to gigs. They had to cancel major appearances. He wasn't into it. And then all of a sudden when a big paycheck showed up, he basically was like, hey, I'm in. And they were like, what do you mean you're in? No, we're, we already told him we're doing it with three of us. And he's like, no, I want in. And they're like, you can't pick and choose gigs. We can't live the rest of our career like this. You're in or you're out. And uh, that's basically when they went down to three. But the fact that they were able to transition from four voices to three seamlessly after recording all those records <laughs> i've never missed a beat they're amazing oh i love billy ocean i'll be there what day are you live streaming because i'll do the other day you want to do sunday i'll do monday i think he's a sunday monday all right i mean i don't know what i'm saying i might still come and hang out with you but i mean do you want to live stream sunday i'll live stream monday that's cool we can do that because I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat Spice Road. That's the one. Yes. I, I, from we were watching you guys the other night. Lauren wants to go back to bed. She said the other day, we were literally just sitting in the kitchen. She goes, I'm craving Spice Road. I had those falafel uh, things at uh, 
Skipper Canteen today, man, and they were so good. And I, they kind of reminded me, like, what the hummus fries might be, maybe. Ugh. I've never had the hummus No. Honestly, if you guys missed it last, I believe it was last Tuesday, we did the... Uh, Eat to the beat dining package. We ate at Spice Road table, and then we got front row for 98 degrees. Go check out that stream after this. But we, Lauren is a very picky eater. I love everything. But Lauren has not stopped talking about it since last Tuesday. How bad she wants to go back and have more things. It's a tapas restaurant now, but the food is all amazing. See, tapas is right up my alley because I feel like when I have, mo when I have a big plate, my growing up of... You gotta finish your finish plate. Your plate yeah, you eat it all. Yeah. So my brain automatically goes to that, and then tapas is like, but I, I want I, I want some of everything, and you can't. Do, but with tapas, you can do that. Yeah, I'm a same big fan of tapas all the time. Here's the Brazil booth. We get that frozen caprinha, which is sourced from Living with the Land, which just went on. You have a lot more contacts on property. Do you think we're actually gonna get a? Encanto land. Uh, Encanto will you definitely will be look? here, whether it's Magic Kingdom or uh, Animal Kingdom. We're getting it one or the other, not both. Right. So, and again, this is going to be my guess an is kingdom, six to nine years from now. Makes sense. The fastest would be six. Well, they're not getting the people that built Tron then. We don't want the people who built Tron. I know. That's what I'm saying. It would be longer. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they had a carbon cocky. Uh, the carbon copy, literally, so I was in construction well, management, and I was a general though. contractor. They, just, they had instructions to put it together. Yeah, they literally just built the same ride that was in Shanghai. And you can't tell me Look at Universal that. building this park as fast as they did. They already have the hotels up, the rides up, everything. Universal is killing it. Their new theme park, for those who don't know, they're building a new theme park opening in 2025. So next, what is this, 18 months. They announced this, and they already have every, like, roller coasters are in place. That, uh, that hotel going up between the Poly and, and Old Key West, or Oh, the Holiday Inn? It, it looks like a prison, <laughs> like, like a concrete prison. Well, that's just building. They'll, like they'll put it, aesthetics on the outside. It looks like yeah. a storage place. You know those big storage It does, but that's, that's construction. So so does the Universal Hotels. But you got to build the structure, and then you it. make it look pretty on the outside. Yeah. Hopefully they will. 100% they will. It won't look anything like that. You peel away the skin of any building, it's going to look just so like that. So what size is it going toward uh, Grand Floridian or is it going toward... What do you mean? The, the design. Which one's it for? Oh, Polynesian. Oh, that's what I was told. Yeah. That's what I thought I read. That's why we called the Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Yeah. Motel, Motel. <laughs> Holiday Inn. If you ain't got no park rent, then you ain't going to... Get in. <laughs> I didn't know I was a rapper. You're, I mean, I always knew it. I love the drum show here, too. So One amazing. But wouldn't it be cool if you could eat up there in that tower? So during the rain, they let us sit up there and stand up there. I, I, that, that view from that restaurant, Shikisai, is amazing. Yeah, we went to Shikisai on my birthday, if you want to go check out that stream, about a month ago. We had uh, Shikisai soft opened a little bit before my birthday, but we were there for the grand opening day. Japan booth always everything they have here is so good. All three of those dishes, I'm gonna say, are in my top top percentage. But the line's too long. That's how much for two rolls. Nine thousand dollars. I can't talk to you in movie references. It's gonna have to be music references. Music references are much better than movie for me. Yeah. So I'm gonna just tell you to put Purple Rain. With something else, and it'll be the goodies <laughs> or something like that. Okay. I want to know the comparison. Though. you got to think yeah, of a good one. Out, yeah. Lauren was supposed to be here. Um, but she's getting ready for school tomorrow. That's true. This is the dinner reservation line. This is where we went in the other day if you wanted to see Boys to Men. We were right up front for two shows. Dinner reservation line. The other side is the standby line. So you'll see people walking by the others. They're waiting for the 8 o'clock show. This is the line for just the 645. 
There's a 530, 645, and 8. Today we're going to try and get in via the back. We're going to be just standing by. There's a gigantic line, but sometimes you get a little Disney magic. I know, we're going to try and watch them back here. But I could use uh, maybe a bite to eat or something from, you want to check out the America booth? No line right now. Yeah, they're coming in uh, October, November, I forget. You know, they're, yeah, they were, they're great. I got into swing since I was a kid because I just liked dancing uh, my whole life. But my mom took me to my very first concert. I always told her my first concert was uh, Blink-182 at Jones Beach on Long Island. But a few months before that was Tony Bennett and the Squirrel Nut Zippers at Radio City Music Hall. <laughs> and the Squirrel Nut Zippers were a, uh, a swing band. And Tony Bennett's Tony Bennett. I mean, come on. Classics. I got free tickets at work. I used to be a... Uh, Work at a bingo hall when I was 14. <laughs> and someone as a tip said, I can't go to this concert. Do you want to take your mom to Tony Bennett? I was like, yeah, sure. Which, I mean, I'm glad I did that for her because she thought it was okay to drop me off at a bingo hall, which was full of cigarette smoke uh, in the basement where I worked uh, my whole life, starting when I was 12. And just kept that tradition going. Haven't stopped working since I was 12. Here we go, menu. We got the Italian hot beef sandwich. This is very good, but it is hot if you get the wrong bite. You got the cipino, the seafood stew with saffron stew. No, it's not bad if you just move some of the stuff on the top or spread it out. I took all everything on the top in one bite and it was awful. Then you have the chilaquiles, which is also very, honestly, everything here is very good. I haven't had the dessert because we already talked about that. Yeah. I don't know, what should I get? What do you guys want to have? I'm bulking up for hibernation season. All right, what do you want? I'm good. I'm good. All right. I might have, um, I might actually try the hot beef sandwich again or the chilaquiles. I don't know. All right. Let's do the Italian hot beef sandwich. What? That's it. Unless you want anything else on the drink, eat. <laughs> All right, you can have it. I love that. All good. Thank you. You're nice to have a friend. for me. Move it to the top of the list. Why can't we be friends? Why can't? <laughs> I have a popcorn bucket problem, and I saw two to that the new Mickey with is taking the... This one? I love that one, but there's another one where he's Mickey dressed in a skeleton suit. Oh, yeah, that's from, uh, that's been here already. But I haven't, I haven't had a chance because um, one of my friends from home really wanted um, the new popcorn bucket for the, seat, the Halloween party. So I gave her mine. You should get another I wasn't one. In, I wasn't in love with it. Like, I, you know. All right. Yeah, you got to love it. I'm not, I'm not a um, Nightmare Before Christmas person. I hate to say that, but I've just never been able to get past, like, first 10 minutes. I don't know. It's just the first 10 minutes of any movie, if it, if it hooks me, you got me. I think you're seeing yes. Nice, thanks. Oh, they told me it was free, Nick. One beat. <laughs> thanks, Nick. Where is Dean College? Franklin, Massachusetts. Oh, we just lost our our mass crowd. Yeah. You guys Thank you so New much. Area? Uh, we just left. Oh, we were a group of ten, and eight of them are New England. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks for being here, Nick. Have a great day. You too. But they did pay me for the nine days. These ladies were sad as we were just screaming and having a good time. <laughs> It was just funny. I love the artwork. I, I tell you what, man. Can we carry that? No, it's okay. Uh, maybe we'll share a table. Do you mind? Do you mind if we share this with you? I'm also live streaming, but I'm just gonna point it this way. I have Alfie on it. All right. I just wanted you to know. I feel bad. I want to full dance, disclosure. We do have dance hours where, like, every thirty minutes, we just get up and dance. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm cool. 
minutes. 30 minutes? We're talking about five minutes. Come on. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks again for watching. We're here at the America Pavilion. Boys to Men starts in just a few minutes, but I am trying the beef sandwich from America for the second time. And uh, if you remember the first time, we were right inside here on opening day of the festival, inside the American Adventure Pavilion. And I didn't know the stuff on top was hot, so I put it all in one bite. And I had a rude awakening. It was something else. I thought you were coming next to me. I put it over here. No, he's got, he's got the food. I'm going to sit by him. I didn't see that. It's the funnel cake. Oh, the funnel cake station, not the America booth. Oh, yes, right there. All right, there is a little au jus. I'll show you what I'm looking at real quick. Here we go. Oh, no. But here you go. This is what I'm looking at. I got, I got two forks, one potion. Do you ever carry hand sanitizer or anything? That's what I get nervous about. A hand sanitizer? No. I just use it. They're all over the park. I want, also, I'm a fierce hand washer. So I wash my hands a lot, but uh, if you want some, you just have some. I'm not worried about it. Also, you just got to build up that immune system. Oh, well, she's got a little bit. I put my finger in. I thought it was avocado. I actually Here thought it was a all leaf right. at first. <laughs> Beef sandwich round two. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. We're only three away from 100. Let's go. Is that a waffle or is that an elephant? Well, we call them elephant. It's not okay. Where are you guys from? Originally South Carolina. Okay. But I moved all around on the railroad, so. It's really good. I'm a big fan of it. Honestly, the flavors of America they renamed this year is really good. And I love that they showcase like uh, different flavors from different cultures around America too. Not just like this is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is a roast beef. Like this is America is so much more than that. And uh, this is actually really good. I, this is the right way to eat this. Just spread out the stuff on top all throughout the sandwich. Do not do it all in one bite. Mm. Mm. Shelly said that face was so much better than the first time. Yeah, I made a big mistake the first time. <laughs> Daniel does have great tattoos. We'll explain them a little bit later. Maybe we'll get him to explain all of them. Colleen wanted the chili killies. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe we'll do that later. I just want a little something right now. Um, we just got off the Disney cruise. Yesterday, my husband and daughter went to the door and I Hi, Sophia. I don't do scary. I'm not friends with any. So, security for Boys to Men is way different than Boys to Men. And also, they're doing their job. We'll see if we can do anything, but I doubt it. We'll watch from the back, I think. We'll try. We'll see. It's been known to, uh, I don't know, it's the weekend. So, we came on Friday night. But We'll see what happens. I love boys. That scares. Here we go. I live about 10, I live about 15 or 20 minutes north of Bush Garden. So, oh, okay, so, yeah. But I used to go to Carolyn religiously. We used to go up to Charlotte. And I remember the mm. day, do they still have the needles? You know, the big needles. So you get in and it's Yeah, it just feeds you around. Yeah, they still have that, yeah. And we only live, um, takes us about 30. Hi, New York Tea Bar. Hi, Don Schuler. We're going back in the chat. Who are you looking for? What's his name or her name? All right, hold on. Tracy! PJ! They're coming. Yeah, you're welcome. I guess I'm just trying to reunite families. I'm definitely thinking about it. He's got bacon. He's got candy bacon on that. On that, uh... Hey, what's going on? What's up? Oh, I thought you were bringing me a beer. No, I mean, your friend said you were over there. I was like, I'll get him. I'll get him. Who are you? You must be PJ. You must be Megan. Yeah. Hi, I'm Pete. Nice you, what's up? Nice to meet you, too. You uh, Pittsburgh? I mean, I'm from New York, but now I live down here the last four years. Yeah. Are you guys having a good time on vacation? Oh, you live here, too? Where do you live? 
Oh, well, then we'll get along just fine. I love Winter Garden. I'm up there all the time. Yeah. Well, you guys do a lot of special events. I'm in the. I do a lot of stuff on the mic and DJ. So like all your 5Ks, marathons, which I feel like you guys do one like once a month. Uh, I'm there a lot. Yeah. Also, you have amazing wine bars. You have amazing culture. That's why I kind of want to live here. Crooked can. Can. Yeah. Is yes. I love it. No, um, you guys, uh, because I also am a big craft beer guy. You have Crooked Can, and then right at the road, Toll Road is like a, yeah. a, a block away. Yeah. You also have a great theater scene. You guys just finished up a great production of something else. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And that whole indoor farmers market is so good. What's the name of that place so we can tell people? I'm live right now, by the way, on the internet. Oh Everyone's listening to what you say, so please don't curse. Winter Garden, uh, I know it's Green Gable, but what do you call the whole market? <laughs> like, what is that place called? Plant Street Market. That's what you want to look up because there's a brewery, but also if you don't drink, there's a ton of amazing uh, food people up there. You could try everything, like, and super fresh. And we're like, my, the greatest steak I've ever gotten in Orlando was from the meat market there. But they have uh, amazing donuts, Japanese donuts, sushi, uh, Mexican sushi, food, yeah. coffee. It's just an amazing market. Yeah. And then also indoor Pizza. outdoors, you can be outside. And now you're coming to the best season because you can sit outside without dying. Like starting around now, the summer's rough. But now we're coming into peak season here in Orlando. But yeah, we love Winter Garden. That's amazing. Another good way to remember, so there's a lot of winners. There's Winter Garden, Winter Park, Winter Haven. Is I like to look at them alphabetically. If you're looking on a map from east, well, I'm sorry, from west to east, like normally where north is up top, is that G comes before P. So Winter Garden's on the left of I-4. Winter Park is on the right of I-4, if you're ever looking at a map so you don't confuse them. And Winter Springs way out there, and Winter Haven is south of us. But we'll not get into those because the two there's two neighborhoods that a lot of people walk around and enjoy. It's Winter Garden and Winter Park. Garden's amazing, park's amazing, but Garden's on the left of I four or the west side. Park is on the right side of I four or the east side. But I love it up there. We love it so much, and it's not that far from Disney at all. What? Uh, how how long would you say it take from Disney? Yeah. So I would say allow 20 to 30 minutes uh, if you're staying on property or nearby to get up there. But it's an amazing spot on your non-park days. You want to go explore the greater Orlando area. It's a fantastic area. It's so nice. So you guys moved down. When did you move down? 21 years ago. Oh, so brand new. No, you're lo See, I moved down four years ago. So I'm still a New Yorker, but like we're just still getting to know the whole area. Oh, we have a lot of people from the Allentown Bethlehem area watching. Yeah, for sure. Are you from the same area? No, nope. West Palm Beach. Moved oh. to Orlando. So you've been Floridian your whole life. Born and raised. Very, very few. Yeah. <laughs> so what brought you from the coast uh, inside? My other half wants to go outside. She wants to go to the coast. Oh, that's a tough eight. No, my husband's job brought us um, in coast. Uh, <laughs> and then how did you guys meet? Oh, I love my that. My dog, my dog jumped into her car. I was like wanting to Classic. ride in her car. I know. Yeah. We're dog people. So. I love that. I'm trying to convince my girlfriend to let me have a dog. Oh, it's the best thing. I know. Oh. Adopt. Adopt, don't I know. Oh, believe me. <laughs> Like I'm trying to pay for something. I go to Disney all the time. Yeah, like my bank account can afford a dog. No, but um, yeah. we love this area. So. And it's awesome. You come here on a Sunday. What's better than this? I know. Yeah, all of our friends are here. We know. Uh -oh. I mean, I can't. Let me play video games. The best. Yeah. So next time I'm up in Winter Garden, I gotta hit you guys up. Please. All right. Yeah, Sounds I'll good. look you up. This is. Hold on, I have a sticker. Same this is too. my phone number. I'll give you my phone number too. Yeah, I think with North Carolina, they're pretty. We are, I swear, normal people from New York. We're live streaming today. Normally, I never live stream on weekends, but because it's Epcot's birthday, and we just uh, we're having a little Carney. My last name is Carney with the channel meetup. Oh, do you have a pen? Anyone? Dan, you have a pen? You always have everything. I mean, shucks. Sorry. If not, anyway, you can just contact me. But we love no, because we love going up to Winter Garden. So it'd be nice to have some locals up there. But yeah, that's the YouTube channel. But if you just want to 
hit me up, or I'll, I'll give you my number if you want. Or Instagram. You gotta try that app. Or whatever. This isn't. You're, are you doing what? What are you doing? Which app though? Uh, Instagram. So I'm official Carney, not the web channel. So instead of Adventures by Carney, just official, and then my last name is Carney. Okay. That's the way to do it. Are you warning people about the milkshake? Yeah. It's a good yeah, call. It's a good call. If, like I told him, if it would have been my milkshake, I'd have frozen the graham crackers on the bottom of the drink. Sprinkle them on top. Where you we have to do a cocktail hour with you, but mocktails. You can do the mocktails, I'll do the real cocktails. How was it? Good. Good? Go get one, trust me. I can't. Honestly, if I had that, I would just. I pass away. I plan on eating all night long. If I have that, that means I can't eat. Try a thousand more things. Uh, just walk it off. <laughs> I just have to have like two bites of everything around this the world. So good. Oh, bigger than a turkey legs. So he's able to... <laughs> good. <laughs> I mean, he does so much walking. His that's like we had to get a white screen. You got me. Oh. Uh, two minutes. Type in my name. It's <laughs> IG. All right, here you go. Yeah. Oh, you were so close. I know. I put a fish all and I just didn't look like it didn't look like you. Oh, I'm the first one, I'm right there. That's me. I did not see that earlier. <laughs> but I'm a few Sweet. So. No, I got you. This is the whole point. It's Sunday fun day. We don't judge here. We're an adult yeah. Disney channel. We're live like I said, but I am a childless Disney person. But I love having my nieces and nephews here, and we're a family-friendly channel. We don't curse. We may have a few adult beverages, but we're, we're a family-friendly channel. Except we have our two-year-old at home, so oh, yeah. one parents. I love it. No, a lot of times, yeah, my, I'm definitely fun Uncle Pete to a ton of nieces and nephews. And my first nephew was just born six months ago yesterday. Yay! Yeah, so it's very exciting stuff. What else has been exciting since you moved here? Oh, gosh. What are some of like the highlights? I mean, I'm from Florida. I've been coming to Disney my whole life. I think just are there being any hidden here, gems or being yeah. here and being able to come whenever I want is a big thing. Um, what about those watching that don't live here, but like some really fun things that a lot of people don't know about? Oh gosh, that's a toughie. I think just being able to. I feel bad saying it, but just being able to be at your house. To eat food at your house. Oh, well, besides to, that, there's a lot of people leave, watching who just come on then, vacation. And then to leave to go to the park. I know, but what about I like know. hidden gems like when you're here, hidden like, gems. hey, we always do this, or like, okay. this is a lot of things that like, people don't know about because I've been here my whole life, okay. or because um, we travel so often. Like, little fun, little fun things. I mean, Epcot is a gem. Like, I, Epcot is near and dear to my heart, especially if you have a toddler. It, it and is. Why? And if you have, have a toddler, so many, why is Epcot great? They have great? so many kid-friendly rides. See, a lot of people wouldn't realize that. They think Epcot's only for adults. Um, you would just think drinking. it's for drinking. It's just, yeah. You would think it's for drinking. Or just the food festivals, just food, yes. and my kid's no. a picky eater. It is but the most... I try to tell people this is a very family-friendly park. Yes. The most friendly... The most friendly You think family. the most? Yes. See, I, I, I think... I always put an MK number one for families, but Epcot, I know, is up there, but a lot of people don't think that. Tell them no. why, please. I mean, you have... Uh, Remy, you have Frozen. You, Moana just opened. Moana is opening. Space uh, the slow moving ride that everybody can go on. Yeah, it's air conditioned in the dark. I they can sleep or take a nap. You can take a little breaks here and there inside of buildings and get air conditioned. They have 11 um, kid cots in every single country. There's a yes. kid cot stop. Uh, so you can have a beverage. While they yes. do, so you could actually, I would recommend going to the Kid Cut Stop first to see what it's all about. Because there might be a scavenger hunt or something in color or stickers. But when they're doing that, you can grab a beverage or your food uh, at the, again, let's keep in mind, uh, even though there's four festivals of the year that they say are limited, it's basically festivals year round. There's like six weeks or so festival. But yeah, get them started on the Kid Cut. You can go grab a beverage or a drink, or if it's a quick one, you can still do that, but they have an activity to do in line. Yeah. Sorry, no. I didn't mean to take over no, for you there. No, you did not at all. I think, no, absolutely. 
between all the parks, Epcot is for sure the most toddler friendly park. That's amazing. Um, I've never heard anyone say that, but I've been saying this for a while. No, absolutely. My my child, she's two and a half. We come here almost every weekend and we walk around. She loves going to Frozen. We see, um, we see uh, them every single, almost every single weekend. And we walk around, we get a couple of drinks. We go on Remy, we go to Frozen. Yeah, also the aquarium. No one talks about the aquarium. Yes, yes. But the Caesar Nemo in France is the second largest aquarium in North America. Yes. Uh, saltwater wise. And also a very slow moving, very family friendly if you see Nemo ride as well. But you see dolphins and over hundreds of different fish inside. And there is a hidden Mickey inside of there is. the aquarium. There's a few. Yeah. You see the manatees, you can see the tiny little fish. It's a beautiful experience. The seas nobody ever talks about, even though literally it is the second largest aquarium in North America. And it's like looked over here at Epcot. Yeah. It's crazy. And it's only getting better. They're gonna open up all the walkways connecting the front to the back starting December 5th. And a brand new fireworks spectacular starting December 5th, Luminous. Hopefully bringing back my favorite show, Illuminations, or a taste of it. But that starts all in December as well if you're planning a trip. I love hearing your perspective as someone with a two-year-old. It's amazing. My friend Stacey loves Illuminations. Me she too. Is I'm a, a big huge fan. Huge fan. I'm the biggest fan. Of she it. was bummed. Like she thought it was. Horrible. I watched the last show with the woman Kelly Coffey who sang. Uh, oh yeah. And on one side, and her family and her husband was amazing. Cause we drank a lot, but uh, her family was great. And then the other side, I got to have the guy who created the whole show. Don Dorsey, uh, yeah, who did, also he did a lot of the music because he was a fan of the synthesizing music and everything else, but he created the entire thing. Uh, he was on my other side, and we had the pyrotechnics person over here. It was wild, and I just cried and cried, and we reserved an area, and it was just, I was very sad. Oh, I, know. I know. But then I watched the first night of Epcot got forever, and I was also drinking, <laughs> and it's not a hope that nobody remembers, because I was so upset, and I said a lot of things I probably shouldn't repeat. Yeah? Hey, yeah. you know what? I get it. We've been there. Yeah. I totally But we understand. had a night. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I love it. I love but, it. But yeah, I'm a big Illuminations guy. I just yeah, love the message cool. that it's old school Epcot where like, Absolutely. no matter where you're from, what you look like, what you think about, what you worship politically, we all are just people on the planet gathered around the fire. I can't and At the end of the day, we just have to eat and get along because we're just people on a floating rock. I can't agree it. with that yeah. more. I can't agree with that more. So be kind to others and that's it. Absolutely. We're all the same thing. I love it. Love it. That's why I loved Illuminations. I was a yes. big fan of that message. Yeah. Especially, I know they're trying to tie IP in and I love Disney, but I mean, they really changed all lives, including my own. So, Illuminations. That's why I'm a big fan. People hate on me because I was like, oh, no. Harmonious wasn't bad, but. Literally, my friend Stacy, she is. I'm a huge Illuminations fan. Like, my favorite fireworks spectacular of all time. No. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it's not Illumination. I thought it was Illumination. Oh, God, I sold it wrong. You sold it way wrong, but it's fine. Harmonious was nice, but it's all IP. I like the messaging of Illumination. The messaging of Harmonious is watch more Disney movies. But it's still a great show. And again, I love Happily Ever After, which is the same thing. Yes. It was a beautiful production. I didn't like the bar just blocking my view. The show would have lasted 10 years if they towed him in and out. The only, if they didn't sit there all day, the show would have lasted 10 to 15 years. I just, I just, I call it the Times Square Stairs. I don't know what that is. It's the Times Square Stairs. That's what's out there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a new barge, but it's not nearly as big, and there's not seven of them, including a giant circle gateway into the future. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. It's time. I know that. It was great. Very nice meeting you. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll grab a beer, cookie, yeah, can one day. Please. I'll I'll message you on Instagram or please hit me do. up. Yeah. Please do. We literally like two minutes away from. I love it. Yeah. Next time we're up there, me and my girlfriend will hit you guys up. Shoot me a message or something so I know who you are. They'll be like Absolutely. Epcot person in America yeah. or something. Yeah. Because I get a bunch. We're we're very fortunate to have an amazing YouTube channel with an amazing audience. So thank everyone. Over, you know, thousands of people watch all the streams, which is very, very kind. I don't know why, so thank you. Um, but yeah, please hit me up and just say, like, person we met at Epcot. Yeah, that'd be great. And thanks for being okay with being live. Nice to meet you.
What was your name? Tracy. Tracy and yeah. Stacy? Tracy and Stacy. Oh my gosh, get out of here. I know. We really are best friends. So it's it's a, it's amazing. We live, I'm like, Pete. Two minutes apart. That's the best. I know. Hang out with each other. We're Disney nerds. I'm a Disney nerd. I love her. I will fight anybody for her. So yeah. I love her. We're not trying to fight. I know. I'm just being funny. But We're Tracy good. just looked at me the wrong way. That's it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pete. Cheers. It's very nice to meet you. you. Tracy Take and care. Stacey are taking off. We're going to go watch Boys yeah. to Men. They start in five minutes. This is perfect timing. All right. Let's do it. You want your beer or what? There you go. <laughs> Cheers. All right, it is time. Should I just tell people that? Danny, with should I just tell people this is a porter? It's the au jus from uh, our sandwich. To the garbage, to the garbage. Oh, sorry about that. I love your shirt. You had an amazing Whitney Tour shirt. That's a. All right, let's see if we can go get inside or get close enough for boys to men. Yeah. He, uh, we all love Steven MVP. Go check out our Discord. We're lucky enough to have like eight or nine travel agents in our Discord. So like if anything happens, but Steven usually beats the punt like... He's amazing. He's like, hey, guys, in six minutes, you're going to see this on the Internet. Uh, and he knows everything. <laughs> yeah, it's set. It's, uh, I'm, not, I'm not happy about everything happening here. I, we like to focus on the positive here. But, yeah, it's been tough times. And I feel for the travel agents because you guys – get a very small percentage uh it doesn't come out of any of your clients pockets but uh i always use the travel agents what i'm saying because they're always in your corner you don't realize how many hours they sit on hold an advocate but you sit on hold for hours and hours and hours you find those answers that none of us want to sit on hold and do so it's it's amazing i'm gonna try and sneak over to see boys to men but it was very nice meeting all of you cheers See you guys later. We'll see you later. Winter Garden. Daniel, I'm going to head over there. But Yeah. I can only imagine. All right. Let's see if we can make this happen. It looks like there is some seating. So let's see if I can get in here real quick. Here they come. Band's coming out now. Perfect timing. They, they're seating, so they have to let people in. Let's see if I can jump in. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to the stage. Let's go. 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 I'm so excited. What's up, Bree? We're in. We're in. This is the second show. You never turn away. And I thank you. What does go over here? Boys to men.
Hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream. Thanks for being here. Are you sure I still zoomed in? Definitely my favorite ride of the whole Because it's really good to see you. So if you don't mind, in case for those of you. How's the picture quality? Black guys on stage before. Hey! It's okay. It happens. So Can I use that hand for a second? We also introduce ourselves. We are boys to men. For those of you who have not ever seen this before, I hope you enjoyed the show so far, okay? And for those of you who have seen us before, good to see you again. Let's go! Um, we have one rule, and that's to enjoy yourselves. That's it. As a matter of fact, we want to make this kind of like a family thing, so if you don't mind, it isn't well, do us a favor. Can you look to your left? And then can you look to your right? And if you do not know the person sitting next to you, raise your hand. Hi, I'm Pete. Please introduce yourselves. I'm from New York. Where are you guys from? Say hello. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I live here now, so I'm about 10 minutes away but now. But that's right. Oh, nice. All right, New York. We're going to celebrate each other's existence tonight. So I'm 10 minutes towards World Gateway. Are you the other way? We're going to celebrate life with boys and men. Can you please make some noise out there? Magic? Magic, you see the fireworks. Give me a minute. Yeah, yeah. Love it over there, yeah. Very nice to meet you. If I ever get in your way, just push me. Yeah. I, I will not be offended. No, I'll just be up here to the right. So ladies and gentlemen of Disney World, please make a lot of noise. He goes by the name of Mr. One. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now. 
voice to men was this man's brainchild. Sean Stockman, baby. He, he reposted us on Instagram. Performing arts and he didn't really want to go there, so he created something he could come to. Voice to men. Ladies and gentlemen. Master Mike with all Mr. Nathan. Uh, oh, Nathan oh, Morris. Oh, Never mind. Was, was Sean first? I wasn't paying attention. But Nathan and Sean created it. Thank you. Thank you. Last but not least, the guy was in my room. Oh, there we go. Doing all the talk tonight. This guy was single handedly chosen for this group for one reason. One reason only. Those Everybody falsettos. Come here, one of the smoothest falsettos you've ever heard of anybody. This guy. Right here. Give it up. Bob Moore, Mr. Sean. Stop. Yeah! Thank you so much. Now we're going to take all of our friends here back to the year 1990, what, let's see, 1993? Oh, snap. This album is called uh, Evolution. It's a good song. Um, it's the first single off the album. It's a good album. song. It's a good song. One of my favorites, and I hope it's one of yours, too. And again, we encourage everybody to sing along if you know the words. I love your reaction. Because I love Boys to Men, so I love your reactions. Like, I'm a, you, I'm the biggest fan. Days go by. <laughs> they sound amazing. I think my grandfather wrote this. Ha ha! the Lord sent along with one time. What I say? Days go by. You really did. When you were mine. I'm a big, big fan. <laughs> oh, 
What's up, Brianna? Great to see everybody here hanging out. Hope you're enjoying the show. What's up, New Jersey? Tiki Bar, Robert D, Susan, Shelly, Kristen, David. Thank you so much for everybody being here. Please hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream or the show. This is my, one of my favorite groups of all time. But tonight is a little different because you guys are going to participate from the beginning to the end. Okay? So this is what I need everybody to do. I need you to get on your feet right now for boys to men. Okay. I need you to warm up your voices. You ready? Everybody repeat after me. La 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 back if you missed our friday night stream we were right up front for both but we are dealing with trees tonight so i'm sorry for the image if you missed friday night go check it out after this but enjoy boys to men singing bruno mars That is them playing guitar and bass. They're amazing. I know you wanted to do it. Michael Jackson did, I don't know. Sean on the electric guitar, that is Nathan on the bass, and Wanye doing the vocals. Let's go, I love it. Oh, we 
Bill said, uh, Daniel and Pete just went to different school, but they're two pieces of fun. Learn the electric and the bass guitar after they were already famous. And Nathan got his PhD. Yeah. <laughs> Snap and sway. Go ahead, I'm listening. I was here for that. Yeah, it was like this. The year ago today? Yeah, it was. You put your hand up on my hip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Oh, who's the cover band? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I believe this is Water Runs Dry. We don't even Oh, everyone loves this one. They have a thousand hits. Some people work. Where's that falsetto? It's a double swing to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Wait, to the left, to the left. It's two to the left, two to the right. Why do we hurt each other? Sway one, one, two, sway. We're really just tapping our heels, but we gotta do the shoulders. 
I'm gonna stop talking. It's, how dare I? It's a great message. Pay attention. We just wanted to sing songs that everybody can relate to. Despite age, despite color, despite, you know, whatever. Yeah. And what's funny is, is this world is crazy because, you know, there's everybody that has a lot of criticism about a lot of stuff, but it doesn't matter. You know why? Because as I look around into this crowd, I see a patchwork of people. I just don't see one group. I see all groups. I see young, old, black, white. Everything. And this is what it was about for us. It wasn't about making music for women. Got it? Okay. Um, it wasn't just making music about a certain group. It was making music for anybody with a spirit. Anybody with a song. And anybody that could feel. So thank you. Not only for this night. For, but for feeling our music for over 32 years. We appreciate you, and thank you for getting us. And not only that, to all the parents in the house who brought their children, thank you for bringing up their children. Thank you for bringing up the children with boys to make music. We truly appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Now, we have one more song we want to do. And we need everybody to do one thing. That's just to remember. Can you hold this for a second? Where you were, what you were doing, and who you were doing it with. Here we go. We're going up. Ugh. First time you heard this. Come on. Get up there. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You can get closer. I'm going to go behind you.
Oh, hey, just my favorite group doing their thing at Epcot. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm going to turn off my face. Hopefully my bag's still there. Daniel's still there. That's good news. I just bolted. I forgot to tell Daniel I was going to do that, but for those who don't know, the last song of the Boys to Men set, every set, you could run up front. Sorry, I just knew I was going to be able to do that. Oh, we're live on YouTube right now. Uh, his shirt and my shirt. You want her? Let's give him a sticker. Okay. Let's give him a sticker. We'll give you all a sticker. So you were live on it. Were well, you gonna be live on it again? Where are you guys from? Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, I was just at Hearts and Jacksfield. I was there uh, for my birthday, actually. Varsity Peach Milkshake. Thank you. Oh, I was there the last week of August. Okay. Labor Day weekend. I was there. Oh. I'm from New York, so I'll never forget your birthday. Um, Billy Ocean, we love. We love Billy Ocean. We'll be here for that as well. That's his channel. You got it. my channel. You got his channel. So wait, where do you live now? Oh, okay. All right. Cool. I was just there for Dragon Con. Yeah. Talk about that from a, a local perspective. Because I just, I'm a newbie. No, I'm a new. It's wild. It's the craziest thing I've ever been to in my life. I didn't even know what to expect. They were like, Pete, just come. I didn't know. Yeah, it's wild. Uh, no, I didn't know I had to. Uh, no, I did wear a little bit of this. We have we put some videos on YouTube and whatnot, but it's wild. But also, I'm just a big fan of Atlanta. I have a lot of friends who live in Georgia and whatnot. So, <laughs> what was your favorite song of the set? Oh no! Look who just showed up. Sorry, you can, they're met. I know they're just fans of the channel. We'll see you guys. Hopefully next year we can all you'll be wearing these shirts too. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. Up. What's up, buddy? I know. Great to see you. What's up, baby? How are the new grandparents? Can you believe this man has multiple? Oh Jesus, that's me. This man has four grandchildren. This is Jessica's other half. If you guys haven't met him, that's Mike and Jess. Uh, Daniel is here. We love this whole group. And look at the shirts. Chris and Chrissy are here? Yeah, they're right there. All right. You know they're in the thumbnail. They're in the, they're in the line. They're also in the thumbnail. Are they? Well, both of you and Chris and Chrissy are in the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. We're in the line for the next show. All right, let's do it. No. That was going to hurt you. Oh, come on. Uh, they all had a hoop de doo reservation. I'm like, I can't leave boys to men. Yeah. All right, so we gotta go find Chris and Chrissy because they went and got in line. Let's go. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you. You got to prove your love. So we love coming to Epcot for the performances of some of our favorite artists. I mean, yeah, a lot of them <laughs> are not current at the moment. But man, they play the classics. And Boys to Men, everyone knows Boys to Men, whether you like it or not. They just have too many hits from too many generations for you not to know who they are. And maybe one day, no, nah, I want to be close, but I would love in the YouTube world to be pretty decent. If you could hit that like button and consider subscribing, we'd love to grow the channel. It's been amazing the last month. Hundreds of you have subscribed, uh, wrote me amazing comments, hit me up and everything else. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And please, Consider subscribing, hit that like button, hit a little thumbs up. I know I, oh. I was just walking this way, talking.
What happened? I left you a mic? Oh boy. Look at this. It's a hardcore. Boys to Midnight is getting a lot of love. My right, your left. We got it. To the right, to the right. That'll never be a hit song. Change the direction. To the left, to the left. Yeah. Right behind me. Oh, Daniel, welcome to the Boys to Men Club. Oh, I'm just gonna record video. Thank you. Yeah. Look at this umbrella. No. Can we talk about this right now? No, but I'm just look at this beautiful view right now. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. This is why you should just leave this on your television at home all the time, right? Yes. Yes. For sure. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Mike, you're the best. <laughs> wow. He's got the greatest poker face. I'm so glad it's on camera. All right. While I'm here, well, we're going to have plenty of time to catch up, but I got to catch up with this. After Boys to Men, I'm done. Is, is Chef on there? Uh, Chief Leaf, you mean? Yeah. Let's see. Because we talked last time you were online. Well, it meant, that makes a lot of sense. Chief's great. Bill's excited. Says, uh, Jesse and Mike. What? Oh, my gosh. Chris and Chrissy right there. Oh, yeah. I forgot about my umbrella. It's here in the park somewhere. Whoops. Still zoomed. All right. Let me fix it. All right. You got Daniel. All right. We're back. I got, I got Pete. Guys, is it clear now? I just got a kiss. I just got a kiss. Look, see? What up? This is why you got to come hang out with us at the meetups. I'm just saying. You can have a handsome guy and a red-faced guy in the same exact kissing situation. You had two red faces yesterday. Oh, Colleen and Shelly says much better. All right, there you go. So like, apparently crystal clear picture for the kiss. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You know you're live on the stream. Yeah. Nope, no. it's facing you. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Nah, it looked like it was uh, thousands of people watching. It's actually 800, I think. We'll see. I have a feeling uh, we don't know because it doesn't tell you here until you're done. Hey, guys. You can tell you just active people hit, right hit now. subscribe. Yeah. His videos are awesome all the time. Oh, wow, Mike. That means a lot. Hit subscribe, for real. That's very nice. If you nice. want to see beautiful sunsets like this and everything, subscribe. I agree. And uh, I don't want to call him out, but Mike uh, is a renowned poet, and he wrote something today that he wants to share with everybody. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Share it with everybody. Yeah, you're a poet. You, you wrote a poem you want to share with everybody right now. Oh, no. All right, never mind. All right, I got you off the hook because Wait, what? guess who's back? Hey! We got Melon and Doug hanging out here as well. You saved me. You guys saved me. Uh, September. They I saved ran. Me. Oh, I love I ran. One of my favorites. One of the best. Look at shirt. Look at shirt. Look at shirt. shirt. Tell me that shirt's not nice. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome shirt. The awesome. What are you drinking? Trouble in Paradise Margarita from the Mexico food booth. Ooh, very nice. It's good. It's, Doug, empty-handed, uh, but it's all out. No, trust me, it's <laughs> Long Island. After that ride, you no. what? Long Island. Long Island. No, Long Island. No, I drink it. No, hey! I eat anything. How are you? Oh, by the way, Jess is here. <laughs> Thank you. We will. Yeah. We'll be there briefly. Hey, Chrissy, Chrissy, and Daniel. <laughs> She's having a good time. Oh, totally yeah. Grandma yeah. mode. Oh, yeah, that was oh awesome. okay. That was awesome. <laughs> Four time grandparents, they're headed up to see the baby this week. I'm very yeah. excited. I'm glad that, well, I won't say it on the stream, but I'm glad you guys were able to stay because of uh, the other reasons. Because normally you'd be already, no, I haven't baby. seen a picture yet. Do you believe this young A person? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this, yeah. I don't wrinkles, believe it. Wrinkles, no. Young ass person. I'm going to go hug Jess. Go say mm -hmm. hi. Yeah. 
It's a big reveal. Building up a lot of uh, anticipation. <laughs> it's going to be... It's, big, it's, big, it's a big deal. I want to thank everybody who watched. We're just having some fun. This is the ABC weekend. So, yeah, we're having some drinks. We're having a good time. Oh, my gosh. Well, oh, wait. Can I show it on camera? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Look at this little cutie right here. That is the cutest thing. Look at this. Look at their fourth grandchild. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Can you believe that this is a four-time grandparent? Right here. What? No, not me. It's 100% a fact. I mean, unless... It is a fact. Yeah, yeah, it is a fact. Jess over there, too. We got the whole crew hanging out, having a good time. Boys to men. 8 o'clock show. I keep looking at my watch as if it worked. But what time is I it? I want to see your dance moves again tonight. Oh, I'll do I it. Watching, I... I was watching you on last night. You know that, right? 727. You're like this. Do you know how hard I go at Boys but to Men? Like, you're, like, uh, you're like breaking All right. <laughs> Let's simmer down. Let's just simmer down for a second. I breaking it down. Actually, you know what? This is a great cliffhanger. Let's do this. Yeah, but that's no, exactly. Pete, nope. Scared. No, Pete, last night was breaking it down. That's it. All right, here how. <laughs> here's how this goes. I want to thank everybody for watching. Oh, but tomorrow we're doing a double stream. Look at it, look at it. Then we have four streams this week. We've been streaming all the time, nonstop. Hey, hey, hey. Pete, you're cute. But because hey, it's getting good. a little out of control, and this is a family-friendly Disney Channel. Yes, it is. I think it's a good time to say good night and goodbye. But you I have to follow the madness. I will tell you this. I will still update any, any recordings that any of them take of me. I promise I will repost on my Instagram or Twitter. So if you want to go follow it, Instagram is at Official Carney. I got the you covered. The Twitter is them. at your WDW guy. Uh, the Patreon is Adventures by Carney. The TikTok is Adventures by Carney. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Tomorrow we got a double stream day. Mixing up Mondays, 12 noon Eastern tomorrow. And then the second annual ABC Golf uh, invitational, but everybody's invited. At Universal, it's gonna be a big thing. No, Mike's doing his own thing. We can see it. No, who knows? But thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I love all of you. I gotta go. Go follow all the things. Everything with the Discord. Everything's down below in the description or here in the chat. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you, everybody else who helped out today. I love all of you. Another Boys to Men show tonight. That was I. Iconic. Unbelievable. All right. I love you all. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Go join the Discord. Go follow the socials. I love you. Bye-bye. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.